It's stop two of the Freeride World Tour. We're in Kicking Horse Canada. This is the face. We're about to go check out face check with the rest of the athletes up on the ridge and see what's going to go down on comp day. This is interesting, huh? So the start one we have on the main top is a nice easy entrance into both sides. The main bowl is really quite easy, quite cruisy, and then it gets into the steeper stuff. The start two out on the lookers right is quite a committing start to it, so it's very exposed to the top. People are probably going to be quite puckered up and a little nervous up there, but then it links straight into features. So mm -hmm. I would assume a lot of the ski men will probably go up onto that side. That way they're bam, 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 straight in, action's hot, energy's high. <laughs> the more playful riders will probably ride the main bowl into the steeper stuff, and then the skier's right side, it's a cruisy run down the ridge, and then you're fully committed and sender. This face does not have like an obvious, oh, if you go there, you win. How big are these, the airs at the bottom? Uh, it's hard to say. I would say the main one that people did, the bottom look is right. Yeah. Was maybe uh, between six and eight meters, probably eight meters. Yeah. Possibly 10 to landing, I don't know. But it's pretty big. Everything, though. yeah, at the eight meters, I would say. Yeah. Everything is smaller than you think, though. Do you keep a backup, um, backup line backup in line. mind? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you always pick out one or two. Just, you know, anyways, if you, sometimes you get to the top and you completely change your mind, but. Yeah. <laughs> um, so having a couple is always good. But yeah, I don't know, I've been looking at a couple ways down, but kind of starting to like stick to one line right now, which is opened up to me today a little more. Always takes a few days. Forerunner two, dropping in 10 seconds. All right, let's see, uh, see how the snow is in here. Okay, Martin, Lance feedback. The snow is really good. Um, soft, but not deep. And uh, really good to kind of land in. What's your takeaway from that, Hedwig, after watching the forerunners? Um, I mean, sharky. Uh -huh. But I think this, you can find really good snow some of the places. You know, just have to be smart and choose the that line. Yeah. There are plenty of opportunities for air though. Yeah and then stay on the ridge, jump where the three mini trees are. Yeah. Look who's right. And then either come down and I would like to jump the whole cliff in the middle of the shoot and look who's left. Yeah. That would be sick. Yeah that'd be sick. Pretty big. Pretty yeah. nice. Or um, Ski, like Lucas right and there's the double. Yeah. And above the double there's another cliff with two trees, just do boom 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 mm -hmm. the whole tree. What temperatures are expected on comp day? So on comp day pretty much the things. The same uh, temperature, so it will be around the minus sixteen. The issue is like at the top of there, yeah, Dale got hit by uh, some wind and uh, the gust might be sometimes around like the forty kilometers per hour. So that would considerably increase the, the cold feeling. With the coldness, it just sort of flattened really the snow and we've got like a 20 centimeters of very thin powder. They call it champagne powder over mm -hmm. here. The link between each features are going to be even way quicker than they used to be. That'll uh, give for a, some interesting runs. Yeah. And a fast competition. Yeah. <laughs> Face check's just gone down. Forerunners made easy work of the snow up there. It's looking very good. A lot of the athletes have got very different opinions on the lines they're going to take and what features they're going to hit, but it's going to be one hell of a comp.